there are a lot of problems in the world, a lot of worthy causes, really. There's too many. And if you try and, and, and fix every one of them, you, you split your, your energies up in so many different directions that you accomplish nothing. I believe that in, in order to make a difference, that you have to pick something. You know, look at, look at all the problems in the world and then and, and pick something and make that your cause. That's your crusade. And this is the cause you have chosen, people who take up two parking spaces in parking lots? Yes, yes, that's my crusade. Why? Because, because taking up two parking spaces is rude and it's wrong and, and it's, it's annoying. And you know what happens when people get annoyed? They get stressed. And you know what stress does? Stress kills. This, this, kills people. I don't know how many, 10,000, 100,000? I don't know. I have no way of estimating that. I have no way of knowing that. I don't, I don't have a, a degree in, in medical, math. But isn't this fairly trivial compared to uh, most of the other problems? No, the world? no way, no, this is, this is pretty important. It's just not talked about that much. Well, what about world hunger? Maybe your efforts would be better spent working on that. Oh yeah, well that, that is, that's more important, but I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I only have so much free time. So, but this is, you know, you got, this is good, this is good, but this, no, wrong, wrong. This is not, you know, the American dream is, is, is German. That's not cool. Paul Weebler is a passionate man, dedicated to his unusual crusade. I discovered Paul when my film crew finished a shoot for my new documentary, America, What Else Is Wrong With It Then? We returned to our vehicle and found Paul's flyer on our windshield. Our driver didn't react well to Paul's message. What the f is this? Who did this sh Where did this sh come from? There, over there! Paul turned out to be a psychologically fascinating man, and I decided to find out more about him. How many parking lots do you cover, Paul? Just this one. And how much time do you spend here each day? Ooh, about 10 hours. 10 hours every day? Doesn't that get boring? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, but that's... You have to stay vigilant, okay? It's like being a cop on a, on a stakeout or a, a soldier in, in Iraq on a, on a stakeout. Isn't it more like being a security guard? <laughs> no. Those guys are losers and uh, no. Do you have a job, Paul? This is my job right here. From there. Oh, you mean in the, uh, for money? No. No, currently I am unemployed, but I am looking. <laughs> Are you married, Paul? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Denise and I, we've been together for eight years. She's, uh, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. And what does your wife think of your crusade? She, she's fine, she supports me. She totally supports me. She's behind me a hundred percent. Actually, you make that a hundred and ten percent. That's wonderful, <laughs> Paul. Yeah. May we meet her? No. I discovered Paul is often accompanied by his cousin, Dooley, a simple man who seems awestruck by Paul's crusade. Dooley. 
Why do you like to help Paul look for cars parked across two spaces? Um, well, he explained to me that what he does saves thousands of lives. And, and I, I was like, what? And, and he was like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like he does. And so I didn't realize it was so easy to save people. I think he's a hero. He's Batman. Batman? He's, he's Batman, and I'm Aquaman. But if he's Batman, wouldn't that mean you were Robin? I'm Aquaman. No, dude, you're, you can't be Aquaman. I love, I love the ocean. No, I know, but and Aquaman and Batman never I, I actually had a webbed hung foot. Out. But I know. But Why do you even take in his side? Man? We're family. He's not even American. You have a webbed foot? Paul, have your experiences here trying to change people for the better disillusioned you at all? No. No, not at all. Um, you know, I know that most people, you know, they think that a truly good person is as mythical as, say, uh, 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 like a unicorn or a zeppelin, but I disagree. I think that people are, are basically good. Zeppelins aren't mythical, Paul. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to get into that debate. Dooley, do you share Paul's philosophy of mankind? What? Do you, uh, do you share my belief that basically people are, are good? Oh, yeah. no, people suck. When Paul told me he spent 10 hours a day in this parking lot, I wasn't sure I believed him. But my crew and I checked, and he really is here 10 hours a day, every day. What could inspire that kind of dedication? I had my suspicions at this point, but I needed to learn more. Paul, you told me you were currently unemployed. What about your wife? Is she working? <laughs> Denise? Yeah, she's uh, currently the breadwinner <laughs> in, the, in our house, you know, at the, at the moment. What does she do? Uh, web. Web? Web stuff. Web as in internet, like a computer programmer. Yeah, 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 she's a, a computer programmer. Well, she runs that adult website. <laughs> it's a, on the side, there's a, we, uh, she does this little, to supplement, you know, income for the house. She, uh, she has this, um, uh, uh, this really tasteful, you know, semi, Nude, glamour shots website. I see. What's it called? Fistingdenise.com. Fisting Denise. Yeah, it's a strange name. I know. You know. I mean. Uh, you know. I mean. What does Fisting Denise have to do with with glamour? But uh, but it's yeah. I mean, it's, it's more like a you know boxing website or something. You know. I mean, I'll joke with her. She'll come home and I'll be like, you know, how'd the fights go today, honey? You know, Did you knock anybody out? <laughs> Cause she's not that big. You know? You'd never been to the website, have no, you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. I get to see the real thing at home. You know? Dooley, is there something you'd like to explain to Paul? No. Uh-uh. What? Splainoo! -y. <laughs> I think you should. Splainoo! We'll give you some privacy. What?
I decided it was time to meet Mrs. Weebler. Paul, how much success have you had in your effort to stop people from taking up two parking places? Paul? Paul? Paul. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I um, was just thinking about what Dooley told me yesterday. About your wife's website? Yeah. Fistingdenise.com. Yeah. You really didn't know what that meant? Well, it's not exactly common knowledge. Now is it? I, uh, you know, but it, is, it explains a few things, you know, like why she needs so much ice all the time. Is everything all right, Mrs. Weebler? <laughs> Sorry, long day. <laughs> Artificial cheese? Oh, no, no, thank you. Um, did uh, Paul tell you about the documentary we're doing? Oh, yes. He told me all about it. You're the Irish guy, right? No, actually, I'm English. Oh, no. I was told Irish. <laughs> I know what I am, Mrs. Weaver. Oh, well. We'll just have to agree to disagree then. Uh-huh. Yes. I, I, I wanted to ask you, but look, I'm not Irish. I'm English because I was born in England. <laughs> okay, sorry. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I wanted to ask you a personal question, Mrs. Weebler. Mm -hmm. How is your marriage? Well, um, it was a little rocky before we started seeing Dr. Ellis. Um, but we're fine now. Dr. Ellis? Mm-hmm. He's our therapist. He's helping me work out my issues. What issues are those, Mrs. Weebler? Oh, my sexual issues. He explained to me that I was married too young and never had the opportunity to fully explore my sexuality. Uh-huh. Uh, Hi, Mom. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that's what you're doing now? Yes. Online? Yes. I'm sorry, but that doesn't seem very healthy to me, Mrs. <laughs> Weebler. Why does everybody keep saying that to me? Okay, let me tell you what he told me to tell people when they say things like that to me. He's a doctor, you're not. Understand? I think I do, yes. Good. Just because you have an accent doesn't mean you know everything. <laughs> right? Of course. Yeah. And um, how did Paul react when he heard what your treatment would consist of? I, th I think that was the thing I wasn't supposed to talk about. It was either that or how he got fired. I can't remember which, so I better just not talk about either one. I see. Uh, um, is this going to take much longer? My next shift will be here soon. I understood now some of what drives Paul's strange behavior and began to suspect that maybe he finally did too. There's something I need to do. Was he nearing a breakthrough? You can come if you want. Now I'm ready. Ready to be taken seriously. Paul, I'd like to ask you a few questions first. No, no more distractions. It's time. It's time for me to make a real difference. Oh. oh dear. I have to be a neutral observer. He's a good man. This is wrong. It's how a documentary works. I examine my subject, learn all I can, then show it to the world. I report what I see. It would violate every rule of journalistic integrity to do more than that. You're not being honest. Excuse me? I know it's interesting to watch Paul's self-destruction, but it's not okay to stand by and not do nothing. I want no part of this. Turn up. Bloody thing off! 
He was correct, of course. Paul is more than just the subject of my documentary, and it's incumbent upon me to do right by him. But first, I had to find him. He's not here. Oh, he's here, all right. Go! Paul! I don't have I don't have time today. Paul, I, I don't have time today, I Jonathan. Fled to find no, you. I no. need to speak with you. No, no, today my watchword is vigilance. Vigilance. Vil vigilance. Vigilance, Paul. That's the one. That's my watchword. Uh, please, J just for a moment. Oh. <sighs> okay. And please, without the disguise. Thank you. Now tell me, how were you fired from your last job? Okay, that's... I got upset. I lost my focus at work. It's not a big deal. How upset, Paul? Just, it was nothing, okay? I just, I had a bad day. I let it get to me. I started screaming. There was sedation, and, and I don't work there anymore, all right? It can happen to everybody. Were you so upset because of your wife's sexual therapy? Okay, that's, that's, that's... inappropriate. How does it's a therapy personal. make you feel, it's, 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 Paul? Look, see, okay, what if I brought up <sighs> the American Revolution? Huh? Would you like that? We were once your colony, okay? But now we're not because we had the Gatlin and you didn't, and so that's that was that. We won. Huh? Feel that one. See? That's not cool. Paul, your wife told me that on a regular see, basis... Me look at that! See, I let my guard down for two seconds. Okay. Paul, Paul, you can't do that. Paul, Paul, you can't do that. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on is an atrocity to, against against mankind, a horrific, terrible affront to, to all human beings. What? Your car. You're you're parking. You're taking up two parking spaces. But I don't want it to get scratched. It doesn't matter if you're getting scratched. Here, look, now it has ass on it now, all right? You can't just do things the way you want to do it. There are lines and structure in the world. You can't just go ahead and do whatever you feel like doing whenever you want to do it or suggest something that you may end up regretting later on because he ends up turning you into an internet whore! Paul. I'm just here for a job interview. Yeah, well, you know what? Here, you get one of these to staple onto your ass resume! Take that! This is ridiculous. This is what I'm telling Paul, you. you Over. have to stop. No, because you... Oh, no. Oh. Ow. What a terrible... What was... Mean thing to say. Oh, burning! Job oh, interviews are stressful enough without people oh. like you making it worse! Their eyes hurt me! Don't you know that stress oh. kills? I hurt me! <clears throat> oh, good luck. Oh, uh, there's a herb landing in on my face. Paul, are you all right? I think I'm depressed. I meant physically. My eye hurts. And I think my lungs are broken. Call an ambulance. Hey, Jonathan? Yes, Paul. I think my marriage is over. I can't. I can't stand by while she is doing what she's doing, you know? Why don't you tell her? Well, what good would that do? Maybe she doesn't realize how much pain she's causing you. Mostly because you haven't told her. I think you need to confront her. I can't do that. Why not? Who might ask her to give up on her dream? I'm determined to help Paul, but he's not making it easy. I think I have no choice but to attack the real source of Paul and Denise's marital woes, their marriage counsellor, Dr. John Ellis. We're just going to confront him with what he's done and get him to admit he's in the wrong. 
This could get ugly. Dr. Ellis? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is it, isn't it? Which one are you? 60 minutes to catch a predator? Are the police outside? <laughs> I knew this was coming. I've been dreading this moment for months now, and now it's finally here. <laughs> yes, Doctor, the day is here. Johnny, what is all this? No, 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 no. That's a lie. Do not believe a word she says. She's a filthy lying whore who, who tricked me. Hey! She tricked me, and, and, and I just now found out I'm a raging alcoholic. I'll, I'll voluntarily submit to rehab. If you'll just get the police out there, and I will make it out the okay. back. You said you love <laughs> yes, me? I never said that! Okay, honey, I do love you. Just shut your mouth. Doctor, I'm here about one of your patients. They're all liars. Every one of them. Doctor, I need your full attention. Do you want my help or not? Yes, I'll do anything, and I mean anything. Uh, do you like to party? Because she's a freak. <laughs> Doctor, I'm here about Denise Weebler. Who? D oh, Fisty! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh she's a sweet one. <laughs> Excuse me? But she's a liar. She, that's why I was treating her, because she's a liar. And uh, she got me the alcohol that clouded my judgment. <laughs> Doctor, I've had about enough of you. Oh, are you upset with me? Do you want to punish me? No. Did you want to watch while she punishes me? I'll get the restraint. But no. I just want you to read a statement into the camera. Oh. <laughs> oh, no problem. Okay. Uh, 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 wouldn't it be better if I read this while she spanked me? I'll get the paddle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Paul is just back from hospital after being sprayed with pepper spray. He told me he has a prepared statement he wanted to read. Go ahead, Paul. Yes, I have a prepared statement. I want to apologize to everyone upon whose windshields I left flyers on. I still believe that what they did, taking up two parking spaces when they clearly just needed one was wrong and by causing stress to others, certainly killed some people. But now I realize also that something. Two murders don't make a right. I am tombsent tomb, tomb 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 with grief over any damage I've done, and I sincerely apologize. Does this mean your crusade is over? Yes, it's over. It's over. Uh, Dooley, are you all right? What? Just, what? Batman wouldn't quit. Right. How much not, they made fun of him, yeah. he wouldn't quit. I'm not Batman. I don't have a cape, I don't have a robot butler, I don't have a rich friend named, uh, a named, robot. named Bruce, okay, who pays for everything. I'm a normal man with flaws and faults, just like like everybody else, like like Nelson Man Mandingo. I'm just like those people. I just need to more, be more self-defecating, okay? Humility. Humility. Paul. And I apologize for that outburst. It's quite all right. Paul, before this documentary comes to an end, I need to ask you a personal question. Are you getting a divorce? Whoa, personal. Getting a divorce? Why? Not, not now. Just, I'll... You're not getting a divorce now? You don't want to talk about I it now. Neither one. I just did the second one. All right. <laughs> I can hook you up with someone if you want. No, I don't want you to hook me up. My sister still likes you. I don't. You. You're my cousin, all right? That so makes your sister what? my cousin, so you don't do that. That's She's not She's only cool. my half-sister, so. like Elvis Presley or movie. She's still hot, I think halfway, the right way. Whatever way, I don't... I her don't tattoos know. cover all of her burns. No, She's they, fine. they don't. I was she the looks good. Not at the water park. The what? Can we... That's what I thought. I can't even read this now. I don't mean to pry, but yesterday I had a conversation with Dr. Ellis. He's a good man. <laughs> no, he's not. He's a liar and a fraud, Paul. And he's also not really a doctor. Yeah, he is. Mm -mm. I confronted him about it, and he admitted that he lied to you and to your wife about her therapy. He's agreed to refund all your money and to call your wife and tell her the truth, that your marriage was just fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny, though. Okay, if this is like British humor, it's, it's, it's not funny. Is this a prank? No! No, no, it's not a prank. It's what he said. Is this, is this true? 
Dr. Ellis, he... He lied to me! He tricked me into having sex with all those men! And... Now that I know he's, like, not really a doctor, it's... Kind of soured the whole experience for me, and... It's almost... Well, it's almost like I cheated on you. Yeah. A lot. Okay, so... I, I know you, you must feel pretty bad. Yeah. I, okay, so... I, I've decided that there's something that I have to say, okay? 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 Okay. I forgive you. <laughs> what? No, I, yeah, I forgive you. For what? What? For what? Well, for for not speaking up and, and telling me how you really feel and for not saying, hey, I don't like it when you have sex with other men, so knock it off. For not, you know, being a man. Bam! She's all, you're not a man. Okay, I'll just, I'll be over here. Okay, just one second. Look, I'm really... I'm glad that you're not gonna have sex online anymore, okay? And I'm and I appreciate you're not, right? No, 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 okay. no, no. And I, <laughs> Duh. And I appreciate that 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 you forgive me for not telling you not to have gang sex on me, okay? But I still I don't know if I can get through this. What do you mean? I mean that 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 maybe if you can just think for two seconds about yourself, maybe go inside and consider the circumstances, and maybe see that you had a, just a little responsibility. I don't follow. Okay, let's say there's a, a doctor, an alien doctor. And, oh, and, oh. Okay, and yeah, and he comes down the, um, the outer space or something. And he's being flying saucer. Flying saucer. Right. And he comes in and he's Got doing it. experiments and he he turns you into a man and he turns me into a woman. But as part of the deal, he tells me I have to go out and have sex with other men. Ooh, human men or alien men? <sighs> okay. You're a, a lizard. Ooh. For fuck's sake, Denise. Paul wants you to apologize for cheating on him. Oh. Uh. Just, oh. it would make me feel oh. so much better. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I, wait, um, do I have to apologize for every time? Because we'll be here all day. Okay, um, no, just overall, overall's fine. Overall? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, okay, I if you think it'll make you feel better. Okay, um, Polly Wally, <laughs> I am truly sorry for uh, ever cheating on you and, and allowing um, lots of men to uh, fist me at the same time in both holes, and I promise that it won't happen again in, in our house, and I'll try very hard not to do it anymore. Uh-huh. Yep. That's Good enough for me. Do you forgive me? No. No, I don't think I can ever forgive you. Close enough. That's a wrap.